subscribe or they will haunt you. How true slash false is this statement, you shouldn't have children, unless you have the income for it. I would say generally yes, now what the definition of income for it means is debatable. The minimum required is food, clothes, and a roof over their head. If you aren't capable of it, the government has to get involved with taking care of the child, which I'm all for BTW. But the taxpayers are now stuck with paying for a child. If enough children get on the system, you will start to have other problems of where that money could have been put to use in other areas like education or public transportation. Unfortunately, you have to treat the government, really anything, as a giant zero-sum game. I think that is correct term. Where if I put money in this bucket, I cannot put it in this other important bucket. My daycare bill is $1,200 a month in a major city suburb. Realistically do the math, can you live on your salary, plus supporting another person, plus the cost of daycare, plus misc new expenses like formula $40 a week, diapers dollar sign 40 dash 60 slash month, insurance for your child, copays, clothing, nursery furniture like a crib. It can be backbreakingly expensive to raise a kid, especially if you're not in a good spot financially. With that said, millions of people with little to their name are wonderful parents and have terrific families. Is it easier when you have the income for it? Yes, but it certainly is not a requirement. As a guy who became a parent at 17 I can comfortably say this statement is true. My stress and overall happiness decreased to the lowest point ever after getting paid and immediately spending it all every single month. It was very disheartening to work overtime as much as possible, and working 6 days a week, just to barely have enough money for even a notebook. It took a solid year and a half working as much as I physically could to get to a point where now, I can just work regular hours with a little overtime, and be able to afford necessities. If you cannot pay for the baby, when you have the baby then you should be prepared to give up most of your social life and work more than you have before. OMG I wish that people would grasp that concept. This is exactly why we chose not to have children. I'm get tired of people telling me you find a way. The way must be there first. My child must have better than I did. I remember not being able to do things and being the one left behind cause my parents couldn't afford luxuries and lessons. It destroyed me a little each time I had to be told sorry we can't afford it or getting nothing for my birthday. My mom tried to make things special, but I could see how it hurt her to be unable to provide. I'd say moderately true. Most people can't put enough time into their job and their child in any given day. What usually happens is, families can survive with children being neglected, but not with income being neglected. So the decision is made, and children miss out. The sny universal truth of modern society means that far too many children come out as adults suffering from some degree of childhood emotional neglect. The effects of this range from difficulty integrating and behaving civilly, to altogether giving up on being a part of civilized society. I would believe there is at least some truth in that statement. Children are very expensive and take a lot of work to care for. Totally agree, if you can't provide a quality living to your children, or at least to yourself then don't have children. I would say it's, not just the income, but time and desire. I know lots of people who have kids, because that's what their religion tells them to do. But then they can't afford it, or never spend time with it, because they want to go hang out on the weekend, or do other things without their kid, because their kid can't go to those things. Ignoring the reality that a lot of kids are accidents. I would say it's pretty true. If you can't provide all the necessities for your kids, you shouldn't be having them. It's cruel to have a child if you know they are going to grow up never knowing where the next meal is coming from or being homeless. People are saying it's too hard to define what's too poor for having children. It's actually pretty simple. If your economic situation means your kids are being raised in an environment, that would be considered neglectful if a parent with ample resources did it. You're too poor to have kids. So things like not being able to provide three full meals a day, clothes in decent condition, housing, and utilities, water, electricity, heat, cooling, 
This isn't a radical idea either, adoptions already use this very requirement. If you don't have the means to provide for a child, you'll be denied an adoption. I'm not saying society should police people's reproductive rights, just that if you're considering having a child and already struggle to provide for yourself then you're a fool. It's pretty true unfortunately. It takes a lot of resources in America to provide a good environment for a child. The amount of time required is insane, and without help from a grandparent it's much more difficult. I'd say limit the children you have if you're very poor. The sad part is there's plenty of people with a lot of money who are shitty parents, and there's plenty of low-income parents who do a great job on a limited budget. Exactly. My parents went into bankruptcy to keep me alive during my seizure years, and because they couldn't afford the 20k plus to get my jaw deformity fixed, so I could get braces and have not so big front teeth, people call them shitty parents. They literally moved halfway across the country to get me out of the heat, so I could potentially stop having seizures. They then fought to keep my arm functioning after it randomly broke on top of raising two other kids and dealing with their own health issues. However, because they didn't fixate on fixing my teeth, they're bad parents. First, that's treading into dangerous waters essentially saying that those with less wealth shouldn't have children. Which is jokes cause wealth good parenting. Second, this question puts the blame on individuals rather than who is really to blame which is the society and government that do not adequately support families through social assistance. No amount of money is ever enough when it comes to raising kids. Most people have children in their 20s and 30s when they are just starting out and not making much money yet. Somehow billions of people still manage to raise families. Have children if it is your heart's desire and the rest will fall into place. We raised her sons living paycheck to paycheck until they got through college. If we had waited until we had savings, a house, etc we would have never had them. Don't have children. If you are unsure, on the fence, trying to hold a relationship together, have them because you are passionate about raising children. To me the commitment to sacrifice your own needs and desires to have children is much more important than how much money you have in the bank. I think there is some truth to this statement. But there are a lot of real world factors, so the issue isn't clearly black and white. What do you say to someone who had the money for one kid and then ends up with twins? Or someone who has a child with special needs that requires more money than the average child? What about someone who had the income and then lost their job after they have children? From my experience, whether you have the income slash house slash car slash savings, that shit doesn't matter because shit can hit the fan very quickly and ruin all of that. Examples? My sisters. Sister 1 had everything going for her and then had one kid at 20 and stopped until she got married because she was single. Cool. She did good. Sister 2 did everything right. Got married, went to school, financially stable, live in great neighborhood, popped out three kids. Then, divorce. Now, she's a single parent of three children with a pick of an ex and a truckload of debt that keeps her from buying a house. Sister 3 had kids early, married, kept having kids while having rocky relationship. Financially stable. Another kid, not financially stable. Divorce. More kids 4 kids in total now, and she lives in a shitty house and she can't work because of COVID, and doesn't have enough money for daycare, so she has to stay home and survives off of her partner's income. Whether you plan for it or not, the kids are still a blessing. None of my sisters regret having their children. But having more children does indeed make it harder. Doesn't matter if your income is okay, because life has a weird way of dislodging things that seem safe. Sure, you can try doing everything right, but doing everything by the book isn't going to guarantee you a happy environment for your kids. I once heard, if people would wait until they have enough money and time for children we wouldn't be here. You will never have enough money or time to have children. I think this is true. The modern, first world society just is. Only we think about prosperity of our children. If you look into animal world or third world they f asterisk income. 
As long as you have food and fireplace to come, you are good. At least they will be humble. In a perfect world maybe. But with the system we have that keeps people at their family's income level. You've just given reproduction rights to only people who were born into the right economic class. Additionally, statistically minorities are more likely to fall into the lower income bracket, and you've then inadvertently created a whites only law. Personally, if I couldn't afford it I wouldn't though. Having, or not having, children is not a choice for the millions of people with no access to birth control, or abortion. That just boils down to poor people shouldn't have sex. Even financially well off slash stable parents don't always take into consideration the time, purpose in raising them, helping them learn, grow, experience, and cope for their futures. Some rich parents are just as fucked up and shitty as trailer park meth parents. More than just income factor in, time spent, being involved, teaching life skills slash lessons, plenty of poor people have kids and do just fine. Sex is a strong instinctive behavior pretty hardwired into us. And most of us in this thread would never have been born if our parents waited until they earned a six-figure income. Or whatever it is we are defining as enough. People shouldn't take having kids so lightly. Being raised in a family ta struggled with money, this is mostly false. Also, people tend to forget how sometime unplanned event fucks you over. You know, the classic couple makes a child, dad dies or disappear shortly before slash after the children is born, now mom can't work, because kid ends up being sick, and must be taken care of. I mean, if me and my brother was one of such kids, I swear my mom would punch whoever, said that she shouldn't have children, if she couldn't afford it. Meanwhile, our dad, they divorced when I was like 3 years old, was way more financially stable, but back then, I wouldn't call him a good dad. In fact, even today, he still regularly say stuff that rubs me the wrong way, although he's not nearly as bad as he was 25 years ago. She struggled with money, but she loved us, and she still does. She's only 52 years old, and made all the best efforts to raise us well. I don't think you need to be wealthy, but you should have the ability to feed your kids and yourself and have a roof over their heads. If you cannot afford that, then it is cruel to put a child into the world that will only lose out from a bad situation that they had no choice in. It's like, for anyone else who understands working in fast food, starting off your shift or coming off your break and then getting into trouble because there are people waiting on food that was missing. Because the person you're switching out for didn't prep a good station for you coming in, 